Despite the fact that, as a species, we have managed to explore pretty much every bit of land that exists on this planet, there is still so much around that we know nothing about, especially when it comes to what may lie below us. Not only does this include things that are underground, but deals with things that are underwater as well. There is so much about the ocean that we do not yet know about, so it's no surprise that there are ruins waiting under there to be discovered. Welcome to another episode of Fast Facts. Subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest uploads. Okay, let's get into today's video. Titicaca Pre-Incan Ruins As the world's highest navigable lake, the beautiful Lake Titicaca has long been shrouded in mystery. Even today, locals believe the lake is sacred. Dwarka, India According to folklore, Dwarka is the hometown of Lord Krishna, a place believed to be an old wives' tale, a myth, that is, until the ruins were discovered 131 feet below the ocean. Port Royal, Jamaica Famed pirates, the likes of Blackbeard, would often make Port Royal their base to raid treasure ships. That was until 1692, when an earthquake dragged it under the Caribbean Sea. Did anyone else think it was impossible for an entire area of land to be dragged underneath water? It's clearly just our lack of knowledge, our ignorance of these sorts of things that means our amazement at these sorts of places continues to grow by the minute. Pavlo Petri, Greece, having sunk 5,000 years ago, no one knows what the city was called. Pavlo Petri happens to be the modern name given to it. Nobody knows who built this town or which civilization it belonged to. Yet another place that people will be able to create all sorts of conspiracy theories about, seeing as we just don't have any real understanding of the origins of this place. Not only is it underwater, it continues to elude us in so many ways. Villa Epicuan, Argentina While all the submerged cities we've seen so far have been really ancient ones, this one is as recent as it can get. A thriving community in the 1970s, it had around 5,000 residents and 300 businesses. Yes, believe it or not, but we don't have to delve too far into the past to see the sort of things that can come about when water forces itself into this world. It's a lot sadder when it takes down the homes of people who are still alive, though. The city of Thanis Heracleon, once situated on the northern coast of Egypt and established as one of the most important port cities of the Mediterranean, this lost underwater city has been sitting at the bottom of the sea that it once served. Ancient city of Baia. It was the playground of the elite, the rich and the famous, the site of permanent vacation homes for people like Julius Caesar and Nero city in the Gulf of Cambay. In 2002, the ruins of another ancient underwater city were found in India's Gulf of Cambay. Resting beneath almost 40 meters of water, they were found quite accidentally by an organization conducting a study of water pollution. We keep going on about it, but this quote proves that there are so many things we don't know about underneath us that people can actually end up accidentally stumbling upon them. Atlet Yam. Atlet Yam is the name given to the site of several lost Neolithic settlements found along the Carmel coast. The sprawling underwater site includes ancient stone wells, the foundations of homes and other buildings, and ancient roads. Amazing to think that we may be able to learn about human life thousands of years ago just by finding where and how they used to live all that way under the water. Japanese pyramids. These pyramids that lie underwater are fraught with mystery. Experts argue as to whether these pyramids are man-made or naturally occurring phenomenon. Lion City, China As far as the most stunning underwater city is concerned, China's Lion City is miles ahead than the rest. Over 1,400 years old, it was built during the Han Dynasty and spans the area of 62 football fields. If we're honest, we would find anywhere with these sorts of lions pretty magic, but the fact that they're found underwater just adds to the beauty. Imagine being one of the first people to stumble on this sort of thing while swimming around. The Moli Fauna Site The discovery of more than 4,000 pottery shards off the coast of the Samoan island of Upolu has confirmed that the ancient settlement, now submerged beneath the Pacific waters, was one of the region's Lapita villages. Something as small as shards of pottery can be enough to help people who know what they're doing find entire ruins, no matter how small. They always offer a chance for people to discover new ruins. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed it and you found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.